know, we have lost a lot of friends for various things, cancer being one of the principles, and that's why we're trying to find a cure. Yes. You know, so if you're if you have been affected by it, if you know somebody firsthand that has been affected by it, um, you know, you don't have to give a whole bunch of money. You don't have to give any money. Yeah. You know, all you have to do is just tell somebody you care. Yeah. You know, because you know, people like John, you know, he's uh, I mean, this guy's a miracle man. I mean, there's got to be a journal being written about him right now. There's <laughs> got to be, because this guy, you know, um, you know, you want, come on now. Yeah. You know, that, that to me is amazing, but what makes it even more amazing is the fact that John is just one person. But John has touched a lot of people, and these people have touched other people. Right. And those people have touched even more people. I mean, one of the things that, that in my family, my children know John as if he lives next door. Yeah. You know, we talk about John all the time. Whenever we talk about fundraising, uh, we talk. I, I mention John's name, and people don't know who he is, but once we're done having our conversation, they know exactly who he is. Oh. And they go on his website, johnbeach.com. Uh, you can go on there, and you can see, you know, living with cancer. Yeah. You know, 24 years, folks. Yeah. Usually they tell you you have a couple months, six months, and, you know, within a couple months right. you're done, you know. Yeah. But cancer touches everybody. Right, um, and we need to find somehow, some way, yes, to spread the word. Yeah, that you can prevent cancer. Right, you know you can't. Well, maybe not prevent it from happening, but you can, you can help somebody get through it. Yeah, you know, and moral support goes a long, long way. And so, we hope that in the little bit that we do, you know, John's spirit is able to feel it, and cool. John's spirit is able to. Yeah, you know, to pull through there because you know positive thinking works, man. Yeah, you know? it's it's all. Um, this is about all of us, you know, and uh, right. and what what Frank's talking about is um, when they do that twenty four hour walk, right. it's really neat, and uh, I think we all agree that it's so amazing at night when everyone puts the lights out right. there. We tell us what it is. Yeah, yeah. the the uh, luminaries is what it's called, and what we do is. Uh, at at uh, dusk, when the sun goes down, uh, we are going to line up the football field at Northview High School in Covina, and every one of those bags is going to have a candle inside, but the bags are going to be decorated with the names of people that have either, that most of them lost their life or lost their battle to cancer, and there's some that are still fighting cancer, and then you can, you know, you can, you know, you can purchase one in, in you know, their memory, Yeah. but we want to make sure that this is going to be the remembrance portion of our relay, and it's, it's going to look beautiful because I have not been to a relay, to be honest with you, but oh. everybody that has yeah. been to one, they say that the luminaries has got to be one of the most touching. Right. And even if you haven't lost a person to cancer, you just can't get to help get caught up in the sadness yeah. of losing somebody. Yeah. Because, you know, when your friend cries, you want to cry. Yeah. You know, that's just the way it is. You right. Know? And so when you see when you see a multitude of people, you know, feeling the same pain. Right. You know, you feel it. You can't help but feel it. It's yeah. Like, it's like watching a sad movie. Yeah. But this is real life. Yeah. You know. And anyway, so what we want to do in this is is we want to remember those that did lose their life, but at the same time we want to encourage those that are still fighting for their life. That's right. You know, because. 24 years. I mean, I can't get over this. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I can't get over this. Frank, I sure appreciate the few minutes. That's been really hey, good. Hey, anytime, brother. Anytime. Yeah. Do you know it's kind of weird that I always think uh, lately, because these last couple of days we've been talking to people that had... I've been thinking lately, like, Frank, I'm sorry. I'm Frank hasn't had cancer yet. Man, I'm sorry. Maybe Frank will have cancer someday, because <laughs> you're not cool until you've had cancer, man. I feel good about that. I hate that, but it, oh well, no matter what happens, it's okay. Frank's good looking and he's nice, isn't he cool? His stuff's sticking out of my mouth. <laughs> no. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys, that was fun.